The scenario you see here is what has now led me to make this video. I'm normally not the kind of person that talks about things like a sob story, woe is me. I deal with my problems and my issues silently, quietly. I am not the kind of person that likes to attract attention to myself, my issues, my problems. This is the turning point, and if you're not into videos that are like personal sob stories, then I appreciate you clicked on the video, I want to be honest with you, that I'm going to not try and sugarcoat what is going to come next. But I have to come clean, let's just say. Let's put it this way, I'm going to ask you a favor, more to protect myself and anybody that has been so generous with regards to sending money so that I could buy some orchids, be it replacements, or allowing me to go shopping. Why is this orchid specifically triggering this video? Well, it's Ninja Raff. At this moment, thank you for clicking on the video. If you continue watching, thank you for your time, and I hope that you understand where I'm coming from. But first of all, I'm going to pour some more dragon's blood into this area. Yes, I am pouring it in. I did it with a Q-tip two days ago. I was wondering, umming and eyeing, what else can I do? But I am so, so sad, and I want to stop. I don't want to encourage a dynamic anymore. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, if you are going to stick around. Let me get one thing clear. I am not going to change how I go about picking orchids when I go shopping. All the steps that I advised, everything I was looking at when I went shopping for this orchid in the garden center, I will do again and again and again, with one exception. And that is, I could kick myself that I didn't go with my initial thought process of get the orchid that has active growth. It had a leaf coming out of the center of it, but the root system wasn't as generous as the one that you see here. So I went along the greedy route. I went with the root system. Turns out this orchid now has stem rot. If you know anything about my channel, you know that I am terrible at Phalaenopsis recovery. I'm pretty good with other orchids, but Phalaenopsis are a bane in my existence once they have stem rot. Push comes to shove, it's also a gifted orchid. Michael McCarthy was so kind as to send me the money to be able to purchase this orchid. I was so excited to go and get her. I had a choice of three and I pick one and I feel as though I'm jinxed. Now, maybe I did something while she was in my care. I doubt that very much because I am very, very careful with Phalaenopsis based on my history with them. Treatment, scale, etc., bloody blah. Everything was done just like with other Phalaenopsis orchids and then this. Anyway, this has resulted in me asking you, never ever send me money for an orchid again, please. When I go to garden centers and I do videos about garden centers and I say, oh, how beautiful, oh, how cute, oh my goodness, I love the color, oh, she's fragrant, etc., etc. Take that for me appreciating what I'm seeing, what I'm showing you, and expressing my delight in the visuals of orchid blooms. Please do not take that ever as a hint that you need to send me money so that I could get XYZ orchid that I pointed out. I will not be buying orchids anymore from any of the money you were to send me. If you choose to bless me with the different formats, the different ways that YouTube makes available, not including PayPal, but you know, super thanks, super chats, super stickers if we're live, that includes also memberships. If you were to become an Orchid Ninja, that is what the members are called here on my channel, it guarantees that I do get a form of payment at the end of the pay period that YouTube has. And of course, I have my merch store. If you like Orchid things, if you like Orchid blooms, I can also personalize, use your blooms, put that on an item for you to purchase. All these things do add up and they are a tremendous help and support. So thank you for taking things like this into consideration as well. Watching my ads, that's awesome, that helps a lot. Sending me an occasional PayPal. If you were to tag any kind of donation towards me as support, wanting me to treat myself, I will refund you that money. I cannot be spending the money that you donate and you tag to purchase an orchid and then have this happen. Everything means so much. Gifted orchids are a huge responsibility. Orchids are a huge responsibility, and then you add on top of that, it's a gift. The want, the desire, the apprehension of getting it right 
with a gifted orchid is exponentially higher than let's say if I bought myself an orchid that I absolutely love and I want to grow well and then it dies. I cannot do this anymore. Personally, I cannot do this anymore. No matter your best intentions, there's another thing. If you donate $20 to me to buy an orchid, in my head I'm like going, I need groceries or I need to pay the electric bill. This would be so much better spent towards utility costs. For $20, I can eat a week and I feel good about it. I, I don't feel good about losing orchids that have been gifted to me. This might all sound over the top because I don't let on what is going on with me. I try to keep that away from my channel, but I have to admit that I am in a very, very fragile state mentally. I have suffered a massive loss in my life that I am not able to recover from. And it seems like with every kind gesture, when I get a new orchid, I'm so thrilled and delighted that when I lose it, the cracks are so much wider in my mental state that it's a massive blow then when this happens to an orchid that was a gift. So if you feel inclined and if you feel led to donate to me, to my channel, know that it will never go to plants. It may go to media. It may go towards pots, much needed for orchids as well. It may go towards fertilizer, supplements, you name it, anything that the orchids need. But it may also go towards groceries or utility bills. I'm asking you to please not tag any more of your kind donations and label it for an orchid because my mind is going to go and get an orchid because I respect that you donate to me. I am grateful for that and I want to be a good steward of your generosity, but I can't be losing orchids that are gifted to me. And no, I'm not going to go and get a replacement. That includes that part as well. I'm not going to go and get a replacement. You can hear it in my voice. I am really affected. I'm really upset. I was going to film this two days ago. And then I thought, no, wait, maybe you should write a script just to keep your mind on track. And then I thought, that's dumb too, because, you know, that's me controlling the narrative. And it would be somewhat fake. Real, true, it would come from the heart, but it would be fake. I just didn't want to babble and I feel as though now I am babbling. However, at least I feel it's genuine. So all your donations from here on in will go towards groceries and utilities, which are much, much needed. And if you don't want to support the channel that way, please watch my ads, share my videos. I appreciate any teeny tiny bit of support that I get. That is the best way to support me, actually, is to create awareness about my channel, asking people to come and subscribe to my channel, asking others to come and watch my videos. It is free. It doesn't cost anything. I'm not asking for donations. But if more people watch my videos and watch my ads, then other things will start to alleviate as well. The last two weeks, YouTube actually took 20 euros off my revenue that was allocated. I don't know why they do that, but in full transparency, it went from 180 euros down to 160 euros, thereabouts, and some small change. And that is a week of my budget when I go grocery shopping. I try to eat below one euro per day. My daughter brings bread from her business, so I'm cut, I've cut everything down to the bare minimum. And it's fine. It's fine. I'm not complaining about that. I am still fortunate to have a roof over my head. But you see, my priorities have completely changed. I cannot be spending your money on orchids anymore. And then the double whammy of the risk of losing them. My mental capacity is just not there to be able to cope with the two, to see the money going out and then the orchid getting lost. To me, it's a waste. Even though this was a reputable garden center, Spain is not the same as the US. I could take this orchid back. I haven't repotted her. I could normally say, look, she's got stem rot. And you would think if they had a second or third one still available, I would be able to replace her or get something else. That is not how it works in Spain. Probably in the US, you would be able to do that. I'm not entirely sure, but I've seen some of the strangest things returned in the US while I was living there. I was shocked that they actually accepted it. Full refund or, you know, a replacement, no questions asked. It doesn't work that way here. 
So while this is a reputable nursery, the quality of the plants, of course, is a little bit sus, even though they look healthy. And yes, I do kick myself for not getting the one with active growth. I'm going to link this video into the Be Picky video when I went shopping for this orchid, just so that people understand I am not going back on how I pick my orchids, with the exception of go with your gut. If it's an active growth, Roots will grow eventually. Don't go with what you see in the pot if there's more roots. If it's an active growth, you're fine. The orchid is on her way. And really then it should not have or get any issues. I know, never a guarantee, but your bets are higher for success than doing what I did. So I hope I got my point across. I hope I didn't sound whingy. I hope I didn't sound ungrateful. And I want to apologize for having failed everybody that has gifted me orchids that have died. And now, of course, Michael McCarthy, this orchid, it's the last hurrah. It's the final straw. I can't do this anymore. I can't. Please, if there's any way that you want to support my channel, keep sharing my videos, reach out to people that would subscribe to the channel, ask them to watch my videos, ask them to watch my ads, you know, put me on silent or something. That is the best way for me to maybe come out of the YouTube black hole that I find myself in. And I would be ever so grateful if you did that. Thank you for everything you've done for me in the past. Thank you for all your generosity and wanting to treat me to an orchid. But I'm going to ask you, please don't. Please don't. If you send any donations in the future, it's utilities and groceries. It's for the must needs in life as opposed to must wants. I appreciate all of you so, so much. And I think I'll just leave it at that. And I hope, I hope to see you in the next video. We'll be back to giggles and repots and having fun with orchids and well, normal service will resume. Thank you, all of you, for everything that you've done. Have yourselves a fabulous day on that one condition, though, please, that you do stay safe. Take care. Bye. And now, because she's in rescue mode, the spikes are coming off.